Hang on. All right, start again. Hi, Kaylee. This is Tom with the Glory Now. Kaylee, I heard the Spirit of the Lord saying that death and destruction has tried to come and rob and kill and destroy. But God says tonight that my holy angel have come upon you and begin to prepare you and release you and heal you and restore you. He said they have been released from my throne room. He said I have heard the prayers of many and that they will begin to manifest even in the next couple of days. You'll begin to see restoration. You'll come up out of that place on your bed. You'll begin to start walking and talking and begin to re-release. I see that, that your calling has been thwarted at this moment. But God says that it's not over till I say it's over and get ready because I'm going to bring a new destiny and a new purpose and a new plan in the midst of all the stuff that's been going on. I'm going to change and rearrange some things so that you'll begin to understand it's been you've been led by my spirit. And when you've been led by my spirit, things are going to come and things are going to go. But God says, I see two people coming in your midst that are going to change your circumstances and change your situation and they're going to be helpers that come alongside of you to help you to walk in the fullness and the presence and the power of God so get ready for the fullness of all that God has and the demonstration of that of his spirit and the glory begin to come as they manifest upon you even this night says the spirit of the Lord Father well, God in the name of Jesus I just command that uh what I saw was, was a rock. Then as, as Moses took the rock in the wilderness and he smote the rock in the name of Jesus. And I command that rock that, that whatever is in any obstructions to be to be washed out of the way so that you, you, you can continue to flow that the river of the spirit begin to flow, continue to flow out of you even in a greater way than it has done in the past. And to those that are around you. Jesus' name. Anybody else? Father, if this kidney stones, I pray that she would be, they would be able to see it. They would give her something to crush them, to push them out, yes. and that she'd be totally restored. I thank you, Father, right now that you give evidence of what it is. And Father, that if she goes to the doctor, that they will have clarity of vision. Yes. And they'll begin to see everything that needs to be done. And I thank you, Father, that their hands are your hands. Their eyes are your eyes. And as they begin to walk and begin to see this thing for what it is, I pray that great clarity and vision would begin to come upon them. And they would begin to look at it and say, this is what needs to happen. And all of a sudden, all those things that they see and they know and they understand will bring healing, will bring restoration and completeness and wholeness. Father, because we ask it and we boldly come to your throne of grace tonight in Jesus' name. Quick work, quick healing. The Lord's going to do some suddenly, so bring in some uh, quick things uh, is what I was sensing. Uh, whether it be the people that are around about you or uh, changing some circumstances, opening some doors, and uh, just know that you are his door here on earth and just to be able to open up and bring down the heavens and in, from you and in you and through you. And uh, even through this time, you're going to be able to know and understand that when the fire of God begins to come on you, and you can feel an actual heat on your body that you know that it's the healing presence of God and begin to look to those that need healing and begin to stretch that gift and exercise that gift of healing that lays deep inside you in Jesus name amen amen and amen amen thank you Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you father Bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.